Happy Monday, and today is actually Happy Moon Day because it is the new moon, January 23rd, 2012, and I am super excited today to read a short passage from Nature and the Human Soul by Bill Plotkin. The subtitle is Cultivating Wholeness and Community in a Fragmented World, and uh, I recently started this book. I haven't finished it yet, but I really just wanted to read this excerpt um, because it really inspired me, um, but also because I, I searched the, the book name on YouTube and didn't find anything about it, and I feel that um, YouTube is this database of all this inspiring information, and I think it's important that there's at least one video about every inspiring book out there so that if somebody reads that book they could go on to YouTube and connect with other people that have read that book and may lead them towards the next thing they want to learn about. Um, so I encourage you to read excerpts of any books that you like or your favorite books or search YouTube for things you're interested in and try and connect all these dots because as the book mentions all these dots are connecting and this incredible kind of grassroots movement is happening under the radar of regular news and stuff. So anywho, this is a little excerpt from Nature and the Human Soul. I'm just going to walk around my little space here while I read. Um, this is my little yoga space here. So this starts off as the great turning. What shape or pattern will the human story take in the future? As of this writing, we cannot predict with any certainty the outcome of our current planetary cataclysm. In this tiny interval of the 21st century, we, the human species, will either learn to become a life-enhancing element within the greater Earth community, or we will not. If we fail, humanity will be reduced to a number. We will have forsaken our, our potential as a species this time around, or at least and we will have perpetuated the extinction of many thousands of other species, perhaps millions, beyond those that have already perished at our hands. And we now behold the possibility of a fundamental and radical shift in human culture from a suicidal, life-destroying element to a way of life worthy of our unique human potential and of Earth's dream for itself. What lies before us is the opportunity and imperative for a thorough cultural transformation. What eco-philosopher Joanna Macy calls the great turning, a transition from a society of egocentric industrial growth society to a soul-centric life-sustaining society, or what economist David Corton in The Great Turning calls the transition from empire to earth community. The cultural historian Thomas Berry refers to this vital endeavor as the great work of our time. It is every person's responsibility and privilege to contribute to this metamorphosis. Transformational progress is already underway through the creative initiatives of countless ecocentric people and, the, and groups the world over. The great work has been launched in all realms of society, including technology, science, the arts, economics, education, government, and religion. A few examples. 
major technological breakthroughs in clean, safe, local, renewable energy, wind, solar, small hydroelectric, electric, which we've seen on our cultural recyclist bike tour, it is possible, and biofuels, and innovations in energy con conservation methods. The science-rooted new cosmology, the sacred telling of the evolution of the universe and life on Earth. Local human-scale economies and food systems that honor the triple bottom line of people, planet, and profits. And this is happening through things like transition, the transition town movement, which I highly recommend checking out. Primary and secondary education curricula rooted in eco-literacy, the study of our relationship to nature, our first and foremost membership. The popular recent movements in South America that suggest the emergence of true Western democracies, the widespread longing for a more in intimate relationship to the inscrutable mysteries of life, as evidenced, for example, in the huge wave of renewed interest in nature-based and alternative spiritualities. Like that up there. Such as Celtic, goddess-oriented, and shamanic, to Buddhism, Taoism, and Sufism. The burgeoning popularity and power of the environmental movement, the one movement that is surely not a special interest movement. The creation and widespread adoption of the Earth Charter, an international declaration of interdependence of all species and, habit and habitats. For example, the Earth from outer space doesn't have any map lines on it. It's just in our minds that we have all these country divisions. Um, and the appearance of new laws, the wild laws of the new earth jurisprudence, the great essential rights to non-corporate non-humans, which we helped pass here in State College, Pennsylvania recently. These efforts and many others are unfolding largely outside the interest and, and coverage of mainstream media. Yet there are numberless groups, organizations, and communities around the globe creating the infrastructure of not only a new society, but also a fundamentally new mode of being human. If we succeed, this century might be known in the future as the time Earth shifted from the geological epoch of the Cenozoic, now some 65 million years old. Having begun at the time of the mass extinction that ended the reign of the dinosaurs, to what Thomas Berry calls the Ecozoic Era. Will the 21st century turn out to be the great ending or the great turning? Will we succeed at the great work? It is up to us, you and me and all others who are waking up to the extraordinary challenge, opportunity, and imperative before us. As poet Drew Dellinger asks, what did you do? when the season started failing. So that is an excerpt from Nature and the Human Soul. Very powerful book that I'm still reading, um, but I'm just very excited about it. Very excited to be alive in these incredible times. So please share any comments, questions, um, Follow the links below if you want to learn more. Have a happy full moon. I mean, happy new moon. Happy moon day. Peace.